Hundreds of firefighters continue to battle against the Apple Fire in Riverside County. Thousands of people under mandatory evacuation. We've got the latest on the blaze and the homes in jeopardy. That is just one of the fires burning in Southern California. We have the latest on the post fire forcing freeway closures in Gorman. A protest turns violent. All of this taking place outside an L.A. Sheriff's deputy's home. Good Day L.A. at 4 a.m. starts right now. Welcome to it, everybody. Welcome to a brand new month, August. It's great to see you as we begin a brand new week together. I'm Rita Garcia. And I'm Dan Cohen. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Let's bring Sumata Khan in. Sumata, good morning. So how will the weather be affecting the uh, firefights today? Good morning to you. Yeah, well, good morning to you, Dan and Rita, and everyone waking up with us this morning. And of course, we're closely monitoring all those three active fires at this hour. And temperatures in the early morning hours, relative humidity tends to recover overnight, and winds also backing down. So firefighters do get an upper hand in the early half of the day. But as we get in the afternoon hours, unfortunately, winds are expected to increase once again, 15 to 25 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour at times. And those gusts could range between 30 to even 35, if not stronger, in some isolated areas. So, again, it's quite another round of uh, winds for those firefighters. And temperatures for those inland areas, especially the Apple Fire, the Water Fire, temperatures also going to be expected to increase. It'll be another hot day also added to the mix there. For much of Southern California, we're talking about some of our coastal areas and a little bit further inland. Temperatures are actually going to slowly come down. We're actually improving in temperatures at this early hour. We're Look at that, 68 degrees in the downtown LA area, 65 in Simi Valley. But look at the high desert, still hitting that 80 degree mark at this hour with clear skies. But for the coastal areas, we are seeing some low level clouds and even some patches of fog. If you're traveling to LAX, some fog reported there. Temperature wise, 75 degrees for our coastal areas, 83 degrees for inland spots. So we're coming down a little cooler today than yesterday and great weather ahead through the rest of the week. 95, still a little warm out in our valley areas. High desert still reaching the triple digit numbers. Low deserts uh, could range right around 115 degrees. Mountain spots right around 86 degrees. But we are watching those winds very carefully. Send back over. It's 4-11 this morning and still to come the Apple Fire and generating a huge plume of smoke. Yeah, so big it's affecting the sunset in other states. Wow. We're going to show that to you. Oh, wow. I bet that's going to be incredible. Right. Plus, LAPD officers hit the beach with masks in hand and a message on keeping you safe during the coronavirus pandemic. As we go to break, look at this pretty picture of Catalina. It's nice and clear, Dan. Yes, it is. It's dark. It's early. Still, it is clear, though, isn't it? Yeah, for now. Probably a nice little, a nice little spot, a little weekend getaway. Hey, everybody, if you're just waking up, good on you. We're glad you're with us here dark and early on Good Day LA. And we'll be waiting for you here when we come back. Disbelief. Um, overwhelmed. Two huge wildfires continue to burn this morning here in Southern California. People evacuated, homes destroyed. We are live with the very latest. Plus, two people are dead this morning after a brutal car crash in Pico Rivera. Coming up, we're going to tell you which roads are still blocked right now. Also, there's this. Dave Roberts. Jubilation, vindication, your Los Angeles dollar, Dodgers have won the World Series. You hear me? I want to say dollars. Good LA for him starts right now. <laughs> I probably wanted to say dollars, right? Because our boys in blue, they made it rain last night. The celebration is probably still continuing right now. If you got any sleep last night, hey, I'm Rita Garcia. You hear that music? Oh, yeah. You're watching Good Daily here at 4 o'clock, and that's how we're going to start, you guys. Want to add to the stress, but uh, we are excited, Rita. I just want to say, go Dodgers! I felt it, and uh, we celebrated yesterday. We we're going over the planets book with my little two and a half year old, and uh, we were so excited about that. And then we looked up, we're like, oh yeah, the Dodgers won as well. So uh, that's one for the record books. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, we are watching our weather conditions and winds. I can report are now backing off. They're relaxing. The last couple of days have been incredibly windy. 
We had red flag warnings in place and high wind warnings. Well, the good news is all that has lifted. But again, we can continue to caution everybody to be cautious. Uh, elevated fire conditions still exist because there's still some breezes across Southern California. Malibu is still checking around around 13 miles an hour, but definitely a, a lot different in Fontana where winds currently right around seven miles an hour and gusts, of course, are not as strong. Temperature wise, at least at this hour, cool to cold temperatures across our region. We're looking at 45 degrees in Santa Clarita. Maybe get that jacket for heading out the door this morning. 58 degrees in the downtown LA area and over mostly clear skies, 53 degrees in Santa Ana, Ontario, currently checking at 52 degrees. Also cooler temperatures at this early hour for Riverside to San Bernardino, a range of 52 to 55 degrees. Big Bear sub-freezing temperatures in the higher elevation areas, but everyone's expected to warm up and temperatures going to be a little warmer today than yesterday. 60s on tap for coastal communities, 70s and 80s. Uh, get ready for my seven-day forecast. I have more coming up. All right, it looks like it's 412 this morning, you guys, and still to come. Uh, we want you to meet the actor who's been chosen to play Colin Kaepernick in an upcoming movie. Plus, firefighters, they don't just save people, right, during these wildfires. Just ahead, we've got details on the rescue of this furry fella and what you need to know to stay safe from scammers looking to prey on wildfire victims.